In this video, I'm going to give you a few tips for optimizing your Chia parallel plotting on the Chia blockchain app. I'm going to briefly describe each plotting stage and best practices for allocating CPU, RAM and resources. Stay tuned. So when you create a plot, you have two options. You can add plot to queue or do plots in parallel. For example, you can have 10 plots in parallel and you can set CPU, you can set threads and all that stuff. And you can have a name. Actually, this queue name matters if you're doing plots in queue. I'll talk about this in another video. And you have your temporary directory and you can have your secondary temporary directory. I, I speak about that as well. And your final directory, which is your HDD. These two are the fast drives and this is the slow drive or your external drive. So when you start a plot, each plot goes through four phases. Phase one, the first phase, generates all your proof of space by creating seven tables of cryptographic hashes and saving them to your temporary directory. This is also referred to as minus T or TMPDIR. And the temporary directory, as you saw in the previous clip, you have minus T and you also have minus two because I'm gonna explain in a bit, you can actually store your temporary files in different drives. Phase one also refers to as the forward propagation phase. Phase one will finish at around the 31% status. So if you check this out, if I go to my plots, this is 32% and this has already finished phase one and it's moved to phase two. Phase two back propagates through the hashes. It's important to note that phase one and phase two use 400% more solid state space than phase three and phase four. Phase three is the compression phase. In this phase, you could actually move your plots to a different hard drive if you want to. Phase four is the checkpoint phase and this is where the files get moved to your hard drive or external hard drive and the temporary files on your solid state drive get removed. Before you decide how many plots your machine is capable and how to set up your plot, you need to do some basic calculation and you need to understand some basic terminologies. So in this specific app, everything's referred to as like, for example, gigabytes, not gigabytes, yeah? So you need to convert that. You can find a calculator on Google and convert from gig to gigabytes or MIB to megabytes. To make sure I don't confuse you and keep things simple, I'm gonna to refer to these numbers as gigabyte because you're probably more familiar to the gigabyte amount of your computer resources. When it comes to RAM, anything more than five gigabyte allocation per plot doesn't make that much of a difference. Recommended RAM is between four gigabytes and five gigabytes. And again, I'm referring to gigabyte, not gib. And CPU thread, only in your phase one, you use more than one thread of CPU. And I've been experimenting and minimum RAM, I think two gigabytes should be your minimum. There are other things to consider. For example, if you have a two terabyte solid state drive, you have to remember that each standard plot, a K32 plot will take around 108 gigabytes. That's 101 gig. And you have to remember that phase one plus phase two use four times the size of your final plot. So you need around 440 gigabytes of space for each plot. That will limit your two terabyte solid state drive to plot only four plots in parallel at the same time. Unless in phase three and phase four, you move some of that plot to your secondary minus two hard drive. But I've been reading on the internet and I think it's best you have maybe a couple of larger devices and hook them up together and just use one drive and save the hassle because the less you move the files, the less chances for corruption and the less chances for the GUI to get stuck and all that stuff. Another thing you need to consider and find out is how many threads does your CPU have? This is different to the number of cores on the CPU. Your CPU could have 10 cores and 10 threads or it could have 10 cores 
and 20 threads or 30 threads. So it's worth checking that out. And also check out what's the maximum RAM your computer holds. If your computer holds 32 gigabyte of RAM, then that would give you eight plots of four gigabyte RAM allocation. But with this current setup, even if you have 32 gigabyte of RAM, and you try to optimize it, you can only get eight plots out of it. So I would recommend you obviously allocate more space. Make sure that you leave some resources for your system, for Windows, for the GUI, for other things that are happening on your computer. So when you plug in all these values and you kind of write down how much resources you have, then I would suggest you do one plot and find out how long it takes to do that one plot with the maximum resources you can adjust. So then you select your temporary drive. This is your fast SSD drive. You can also select a minus two drive, the secondary temporary drive, which will move your plots, temporary files after phase two into the secondary drive. Okay, now you, you're plotting now, okay? You're plotting one plot and you've assigned four threads to that plot. Once it's past the 31%, I want you to look how long it took for that to finish. So in order to do that, you click on the three dots next to the plot and you click on view log. This is your plotting log. So if you have any issues, any problems with your plot, you, al you always go to this log and try to figure out what's happening. The number you're looking for is the number here. My number is quite large because this is actually my test wallet and my test machine. This 14,300 seconds, it's 15,000, which is 250 minutes. Now you know that phase one will take you 250 minutes to finish. Okay, so write that down. I need to put a 250 minute delay to my plots. What you do is when you're creating your plot, you're doing it in parallel. Now you add a 250 minute delay. Then you start the second plot, then you start the third plot with the 250 minutes delay to just make sure there's enough resources available for that CPU intensive stage one or phase one it's called. At some point they will all be running at the same time. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for making it this far. Please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It will help me out a lot and also it will give you a lot of good luck so hopefully you can mine your chia coin very very soon if you have any questions suggestions for a next video or you'd like to add to my plotting tips please comment below and as always crypto out